Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency has ordered the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to tighten controls on the workers' radiation exposure. About 3,000 workers are struggling daily at the plant to contain the nuclear crisis. The safety agency has been inspecting Tokyo Electric Power Company's measures to protect its workers from exposure to radiation. The agency says it has found eight areas of concern, and on Wednesday it ordered TEPCO to take appropriate measures. The agency said TEPCO lacks information about its subcontracted employees. It ordered the company to boost the number of safety managers. It also told the utility to provide more full-face protection masks and make sure that plant workers wear them properly. It also told the utility to provide more full-face protection masks and make sure that plant workers wear them properly. Since the nuclear crisis began in March, six workers have been exposed to radiation doses above the allowable emergency limit of 250 millisieverts. About 1,500 have yet to receive medical checks for radiation exposure. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is set to begin injecting nitrogen into the containment vessel of the number three reactor to prevent a hydrogen explosion. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency gave the go-ahead to Tokyo Electric Power Company on Thursday after confirming the appropriateness and safety of the injection plan. The util utility plans to begin the procedure later in the day. TEPCO has already begun injecting nitrogen into the number one and number two reactors. The utility has set a target date of July 17th to complete the operation, but work at the number three reactor has been delayed due to high radiation levels. Radioactive cesium far exceeding the safe limit has been detected in hay fed to cattle at a second farm near the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima Prefecture. Hay with a high level of radioactive cesium was fed to cattle at the farm in Asakawa. Forty-two of them were sent to meat processing plants. The finding came during inspections ordered by the prefecture after a large dose of the radioactive substances was found in hay at the first farm in Minamisoma City. The latest checks uncovered up to 97,000 back rows of radioactive cesium per kilogram, some 73 times the official safety limit. The 42 cattle were sent to four meat processing plants between April 8th and July 6th, 14 to Yokohama, 13 to Tokyo, 10 to Sendai, and 5 to Chiba. The prefecture has ordered the farm to stop shipping and transporting cattle. It has also provided detailed information to the relevant municipalities, asking them to trace distribution channels of the beef from the cattle. Ooh, this guy is fucked. The Japanese government says annual carbon dioxide emissions would increase by 210 million tons if the country were to shift from nuclear power to fossil fuel. The Environment Ministry estimates that if Japan halted all 54 nuclear reactors and switched to thermal power generation using coal and natural gas, CO2 emissions would increase by up to 16 percent compared to 1990 levels. Under the Kyoto Protocol on Global Warming, Japan is obliged to cut its average emissions by 6 percent from 1990 output over a five-year period through 2012. Operating more thermal power plants may boost purchases of emission rights from overseas to offset the increase in CO2 output. Japan could also have trouble achieving the government set standard, or rather the government set target of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 25% by 2020. 
The ministry plans to promote the use of renewable energy as it remains unclear when nuclear power facilities across the country will be restarted. Now the update about the email scam by the operator of a nuclear power plant. Kyushu Electric Power Company has revealed that an internal investigation uncovered 141 employees at its head office and affiliates who uh, were involved in, in an email scam to sway public support for restarting its Genkai nuclear plant. The report presented to the government on Thursday says two company executives instructed a manager to influence opinion at a government-sponsored meeting held in late June. The meeting was designed to explain safety measures to locals before getting in Genkai's number two with three reactors back online. The report says the manager ordered his subordinate to make employees at the head office and affiliates send supportive emails to the meeting. Among opinions sent to the meeting, it says 286 were in favor of restarting the reactors with 163 against, showing the email plot worked to turn the tables. President Toshio Manabe says he is sorry for causing a problem that undermined public trust. Kyushu Electric Power Company says they'll postpone the restart of a nuclear reactor. The number one reactor at the Sendai nuclear plant in the southwestern prefecture of Kagoshima, Kyushu, was initially scheduled to resume operations in late July. Well, a regular inspection of the reactor that began in May has been completed. The company announced its change of plans on Thursday. It says one reason for the delay is the absence of a timetable from the central government for the additional safety assessments or stress tests that authorities have ordered for all nuclear plants. Another factor likely influencing the decision is the about face made by a Kyushu mayor on the restart of the Genkai nuclear plant in Saga Prefecture. The mayor retracted his agreement for the plan to resume operations after the government announced the new testing requirement. The number two reactor at the Sendai plant is also scheduled to halt operations for regular checks in September. Analysts say the stoppages could affect the Kyushu region's electricity supplies when consumption peaks in the summer. Yo, 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 it's Joey V again. Uh... Got another article here for you. Uh, this one here reads, Monster Typhoon Expected to Slam into South Japan Next Week. <clears throat> Oops. And if you go on to read here, it says, Typhoon Ma'an. <laughs> I guess that's how you pronounce it. Still in the midst of its long recovery from the earthquakes and tsunami of early March, Japan must now keep a watchful eye on Typhoon Ma'an. Uh, rapidly intensifying in the western Pacific. The storm could impact the disaster-ravaged country early next week. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center reports this morning that Ma, about 655 kilometers east-southeast of uh, Iwo Jima, has shown steadily improving organization over the past six hours with convection uh, consolidating around the core and the emergence of an eye. The storm's current peak winds are 75 miles per hour, uh, equivalent to Category 1 hurricane. The storm is expected to remain within a tropical air mass with low wind shear and warm sea surface temperatures as it continues west through the northern Philippines Sea. Consequently, significant intensification is forecast over the next 72 hours with peak winds predicted to reach 125 miles per hour by Saturday morning, equivalent to a Category 3 hurricane. JTWC cautions there is no reason to expect significant weakening until the storm makes landfall. Exactly where the storm comes ashore is uncertain this far out, but the official forecast brings Ma. Uh, on the vicinity of southern Japan Monday or Tuesday of next week. AccuWeather says the storm could bring destructive winds to Japan's southern coasts and 10 to 20 inches of rain. So, and there's also a link here to the Washington Post uh, as, the source, as the source, sorry. So the link will be in the description box below. Uh, take care, my friends. Peace out.